Hi guys, Trevor Swenson back with Through the Darkness, my personal journey with PTSD and trauma and stressor related disorder. And I wanted to talk about something today that has to do with that little dot out there in the lake underneath my finger. And as I was sitting quietly in that little dot, which is a spear house the other day, I started to think about an analogy about what it's like to have PTSD. And my walk out to that house is going to be representative of my journey in developing PTSD because behind me is normal everyday life, normal everyday emotions, normal everyday social interactions. And the distance that we're going to cover is going to be the cold, cautious walk of developing PTSD. One of the things about walking on a frozen lake like I am right now is that if you haven't done it before, it is it can be it can be a little bit unnerving especially if you don't know what the ice conditions are and the entire process you find you find your gluteus maximus being tensed up not only for the grip on the extremely slippery ice but your mind tells you to pucker up and be safe and the more that you do that and the further that you walk through treacherous terrain like I'm doing right now, the more obviously your body becomes conditioned to being in a constant state of puckered up, if you will. You're hyper aroused, you're hyper vigilant. The ice is going to go out from beneath you at any particular moment and over time sometimes it's just one thing that takes place that thrusts you into a trauma and stress related disorder and sometimes it's a longer walk like it was for me and ultimately you end up with a trauma and stress related disorder and you become your own little ice shack in the middle of reality. But far removed from reality. And I noticed the other day when somebody was talking to me about my PTSD that they were way over there in reality. Safe in normal life talking to me from a position of not having PTSD and I was way out in the middle of nowhere by myself in a little protected bubble in my battle with PTSD. Now the good thing about this, about this analogy, is obviously I want to get from here to over here. But it's going to take a lot of work and along the ways there are going to be things to navigate. It's going to be scary at times. It's going to be angering at times. It's going to be incredibly sad at times. But right now, I live in a world, a little 4x8 world, far removed from the safe shores of reality. And it really became very, very clear as I was talking to somebody who I know loves me very deeply that as I articulated my journey with PTSD that they kept on saying, Trevor, I really want you to listen to me and hear what it is that I have to say because what you're saying is coming from a brain that has been damaged by PTSD 
and you need to hear these things that are coming from a healthy, strong, clear thinking, warrior type brain right now. And that is true. I need to hear those things. And every time I hear those things, I really feel like I get further and further away from my position of isolation and alone and my protected little bubble. And I feel like I am starting to make uh, progress back to the safety of normal everyday life. But I just couldn't pass up the opportunity today to give you a little bit of an example of what it feels like mentally, physically, emotionally to be isolated and struggling with social aversion even from your own own family and to have PTSD and as I sit inside this shack for as long as my mind will let me t- let me do it comfortably it really is a good representation of what it feels like to be battling PTSD reality really feels like the distant shores surrounding me and I am in my little safety bubble where I can hear people coming well out here nobody's going to be coming to find me (laughs) but I could hear somebody coming I could hear a dog walking up I could hear anything coming from a long ways away to prepare and it's just a really good analogy of of what it feels like to navigate the loneliness of fighting PTSD You have the reality of real life within view. For some of us, it's a lot further away. For some of us, it's getting closer and closer every single day as we continue to fight and move forward in our battle with PTSD. But I just wanted to share this analogy with you that the the walk in developing PTSD, representing the walk to get out here is one that is filled with danger and fear and and the unknown and anxiety. And the, the, the walk getting away from PTSD, for me anyway, has really been filled with the exact same things that I just feel like being in my nice little insulated bubble my, my nice little, I, I, I don't want to interact with anybody. I don't want to be contacted by anybody. I don't want to be around anybody. But I know that my journey to get to the shores of healing is not only within sight, but also I have to accept the fact that there's going to be work that comes along with that as well. But we're going to get there. And I just wanted to use this simple analogy to give you maybe a little bit of a window into what it feels like to have and live with PTSD. This is Trevor Swenson with Through the Darkness. Please click subscribe, hit the like button, send this off to somebody that might not understand or somebody you'd like to help out that's struggling with the same thing. God loves you. I'm pulling for you and we're going to keep putting one foot in front of the other. We'll see you soon.